Hi Taurus, this is Jack Patel, and this is your general reading. This is for the week of November 28, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, please remember these are general readings and take with you what resonates and leave what does not behind for someone else. Now, uh, starting out, we have um, a Scorpio or a Libra energy and a Virgo energy that may or may not resonate. If you are seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. This is actually a week about getting what you want. If you are separated by, from someone or something, it does show me it's a temporary separation. could be a trip out of, out of state we're looking at. There's a lot of intensity in the love life and a lesson we'll learn with some healing energy surrounding you. Okay, There is a generalized caution to slow down that is in your vehicle, at home, and at work. So, Taurus, let's see what we have going on for you. There again, this is your week of November 28th, 2022. Your first card up, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This indicates that there's going to be a new beginning in your financial sector. With that, we also have that Star card energy. This comes in and tells me total and complete wish fulfillment. But there is also, there is a but here, there is a, a delay. Okay, so if any delays occur in the week of the 25th, they're actually in your favor. We have that Four of Cups. This is the calm before the storm. This is asking that you get the rest that you need while you are able to. Okay, and with that, we have the Seven of Wands. This is the best energy in the deck. Seven of Wands, Taurus, says you've been doing the journey inward. You've been working on yourself, meditation, grounding, centering. This is the week is going to pay off. Center of the reading bonus. We have the lover's card. Going to be some intensity in the love life. And with that, we have the king of pentacles. Financial stability in its fullest form. Uh, could be that you're dealing with someone wealthy at that. Um, also, a Gemini may or may not resonate here. We also have with that the ten of pentacles. This is your abundance card. Okay. This is, so yeah, it is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Abundance card. It is money. It is the highest denomination of money in the deck. But it's more than that. This is family, friends, health, wealth, money. It's all of it. It's your actual abundance coming to you. Then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, Taurus, you're getting ready to reunite and reconnect with someone from the past. Could be. From the love life does not have to be and before you're ready to shoot the messenger this is the person that you are excited to reconnect with so if your mind instantly went to Jackie I don't want to reconnect with that person it's not that particular person we're talking about okay and we have with that the judgment card twofold be careful who you pass judgment on because you're going to be wrong when you do and Quit worrying about what other people think of you as well. Okay? So let's go further with these messages here. And there again, this is for my Taurus. Um, for the week of November 28th. Taurus, you have the Ace of Wands. Indicating your new beginning is right now. It is the week of the 28th. We have the Knight of Swords. Quick moving. Going to be a quick moving week. This is also showing something rushing in. What is rushing in for you? Just the way your reading started. It's a new beginning in your finances. That's what's rushing in for you this week. With that, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups says there's someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you and you are turning and walking away from. And with that, we have the Four Cups. Unexpected. This is on the lovers. This is the unexpected offer of love. Okay? And I really want to stress the word unexpected. On that King of Pentacles, there's that star again. Definite wish fulfillment with a delay as a factor. This does mean there is more than one wish fulfilled this week. Okay? And then we have... The Page of Wands. This is a messenger card. Also a Sagittarius. May or may not resonate. And the message is the Tower. Be warned. This is your temper. This is your temper. This is someone that has made you mad. This is you saying what you got to say. Inventing. Nothing to fear. Okay. It is very brief in passing. It always leads to a sudden change 
and it always leads to something better, okay? And it may be that you need to express something or get something off your chest, okay? And with that, we have the Four of Wands. This is happiness, contentment. If you are in a relationship, you could be ascending to another level, like living together, commitments, vows, things of that nature. And if you're single, you could actually be heading to a relationship, an actual committed relationship. And your bonus card for the set of the reading, Two of Pentacles. If you guys are juggling financially, you need to know this is a temporary situation. It is about over. You have got two strong new beginnings and finances. They're within reach. So that situation is brief and passing and is about to leave. Thank you guys for watching. You have a wonderful week. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. And I'll see you soon. Bye.